Falls. Fun fact, and I grew up coming here. We've my family, my dad, his brothers, I don't even know who all owns this piece. So actually right across the way you see those three garage doors. So that whole area, that was the yard. The yard was where ends construction. My, like when I was growing up, that's where my dad went to work. My dad, oh, he retired, but here in Southern Utah, if you're from here, you've driven through here, you've either seen my last name on a lot of billboards, or if you're from here, you know there are a lot of ends. But my dad and his brothers, that was like the old construction yard. So I grew up going there and now, um, they've since obviously sold part of it and then the second half where you see those garages my brother's trailer is actually parked under the cupboard but that's where my dad and his two brothers keep all their stuff so we have tons of stuff over there um, our boat snowmobiles saddles a lot of extra stuff like that but here so right now we've got the corral set up into just four corrals because when i was growing up there were eight so these were actually they were smaller they were cut in half but my grandpa had his horses here my uncles and now out of all the siblings my dad and that's the only ones that still have horses and we will forever have them they are the absolute best and they're dirty and they're a lot of work but this guy this is mac he um his feet will bother him sometimes his hooves and what's happening is he likes to stand where he pees so where he, he pees in the same spot and he'll stand over here and then all that sand and he, mud basically gets stuck up in his hooves and that causes a lot of problems. One, it's really uncomfortable for him to walk and two, it can be, in, it can get infected, it can, all kinds of stuff like that. So me and my brother had come over the other day, we cleaned out um, his feet and my brother came and fed this morning and called me and he said that I think we gotta clean him every day. And so I told him I would run, I basically would come here and try and see if I can get this to, if I can fix the area. So I ran to Cal Ranch and got some, well, I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically these little pellets. I think, I think they're made out of pine. I'll check the bags. But the woman who helped me there said that they're really good for absorbing um, moisture. So I'm going to get in there and dump one whole bag on, give it some time to see what happens. And then once it's kind of soaked up a lot of that pee, um, mix the dirt around and maybe put some more down. We are planning, we just brought the horses down from the ranch or from the cabin and for the winter time. So in, in the winter, they're down here and then we move them up to pasture spring and summer. Um, so we have not, we, we need to come in. My dad's out of town right now, but we need to come in. We're gonna bring in all new dirt and with a tractor, just get all the corrals looking really good. And hopefully this one will stop standing in his pee. This one, so my brother's horse is dusty. He likes to poop in one spot. A lot of poop. Obviously you can see his poop. I came in here the other day and did a full, like I was in his stall for over an hour. <laughs> Just trying to like level this mound out because before we went up to pasture, he just, it like creates a mound by all of his poop. And that's this one, poops right there. Mac poops and he stomps it out. It's like, this one will have tons of poop. He'll have no, he'll have no manure in his, in his corral because he's like stomped it out. It's just turned into dirt. And Ollie, well, he's a special case. Ollie, this is his food. So these two are eating hay. He's eating grass cubes. His belly doesn't do super well with like a quick transition from being at pasture and then coming down and having hay. It's like if, if you guys have dogs, you know that if you change their dog food, they usually get the runs. You know, it's like, they, you gotta have like a nice transition period. That's this one. He's like just, he's a big hairy dog. I mean, they're all dogs, but he's a big hairy dog. And he is a lover. He is the biggest lover that we have. I'm obsessed. Pine pellet bedding. Here's what we're gonna try. This bag was $7.99. <laughs> And to be honest, you know, because how prices are right now, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably a high, it's probably high. Probably used to be able to get this for like, I don't know, three bucks. <laughs> Left big city for the simple country life. Found myself a woman that it took for me to be my way. I was working on the ground come a sun up to sun time. Hey, I'm trying to make a reputation for a man inside this town Hard as I try, maybe I just can't I ain't no up and kind of leaving me She can't 
kissed me one time and she took my heart Baby, you can love me, you can leave me, I'm a honky-tonk star Yeah, I'm a honky-tonk star Well, we're the three times living out of the car We're not fighting I just went off what I was told. So let me see if there's any... <laughs> Most of the instructions are just talking about, you know, if you were to kind of get everything out of here first, but the dirt that's on the ground, that is, that, it's dirt. So we can't really get rid of it. I'll get in and clean up their poop, but later this afternoon, just kind of check it and see if um, I have one more bag. So we'll see how it works. While I'm being videoed, I'm gonna go on a rant. These, the plastic manure picker uppers, a uh, rake shovel, I think. Metal is better. <laughs> the plastic <it> breaks, <laughs> you know? So uh, I'd like to call out Cal Ranch because they're the ones that, you know, that's where I got them. I went there today. I was gonna see if they had new ones when I picked up this. And of course they don't. They only have a bunch of plastic ones. And it's fine, but they just doesn't work as well as the metal ones. So, if you could bring those, if anyone watching this works for Cal Ranch, if you could bring those back, or just make them available, that'd be really great. I'm a honky tonk star. I'm a honky tonk star. Lord, I'm a honky tonk star. I mean, the lifestyle of the West, it's just simple. You know, you work really hard. And it's all about taking care of your family, your land, and your animals, and being self-sufficient. But what I love, I mean, I don't know if I can really say what I love most about horses, but they're so smart, you know, and they're lovers. And they're, it's crazy because they just, they're, they can feel, I mean, they can feel a fly land on them, you know? And they're big, beautiful. And they love to be loved. <laughs> this is where it goes. We gotta bring our dump trailer down from the ranch so we can load it up and then take it up there. Use it as manure on our pasture. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. I am working on coming back to YouTube more consistently. Um, thanks for sticking around. Like and subscribe, drop a comment, and it's time for me to go home, do some laundry, and get in the shower. So until then, I'll see you next time.